The student unions at these campuses will act as an education pod for the vaccines, according to CCSD's HR, and will offer vaccinations for the district's roughly 40,000 employees. It's all according to this email sent out to staff by CCSD's HR department Tuesday, which reads, We anticipate that CCSD employees will be able to register for vaccination appointments beginning Monday, January 25th. This, a relief to teachers who have had trouble getting appointments this past week. I feel like this kind of gives us light at the end of the tunnel. Because even though Nevada gave teachers the green light for vaccines this past Monday, it has still been a lot of like misinformation. CCSD teachers tell us the the rollout so far has been kind of a headache. There's been a lot of educators who've had appointments who've been turned away. Rebecca Kennard says she's even seen teachers urge each other on social media to fudge the truth just to get in for an appointment. A lot of people have been saying, make your appointment, make it under not a teacher so you can get in. So a lot of people are making appointments under uh, what they would consider other. Um, instead of teacher, and they're not putting their occupation. CCEA President Marie Nysis says she's hearing of these issues too, but also points out that the vaccine's accessibility is linked to a possible return to hybrid or in person. It should be a priority. So now that the vaccine is readily available, you know, why push that? Why not wait until our educators are vaccinated so that they're able to return with a little more confidence, you know, to be uh, feel a little safer? Still, we're now told an education pod is forming, and teachers say they're grateful for one county official's hard work. Marilyn Kirkpatrick has been working hard to try to uh, get the vaccination sites um, and the actual websites up and running. I just want to get back in the classroom. I just want to get back in the classroom, and I, I'm hoping this is what it takes for us to get back in. CCSD has rolled out an online submission form where employees are encouraged to report whether they've gotten the vaccine or if they choose not to get the vaccine. District HR says the information is secure and confidential. I'm Maddie White, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.